Is your fly unzipped or something? No. No, it's just like I, I saw the. <laughs> Welcome back to Russ's Rad Reviews. Today I've got a compilation album to go over with you guys, and it is Pink Floyd's A Collection of Great Dance Songs. So this album was released in 1981 by CBS Records, and uh, there are only six songs on this album, and a few of them have been remixed or completely re-recorded. But before we do, the f is this sh Before we get into the regular meat and potatoes of the record reviews, let's talk about the history of the album. All right, what's going on, you guys? We are in the history portion of Pink Floyd's A Collection of Great Dance Songs. This one's pretty short because the album's pretty short. A Collection of Great Dance Songs was released on November 23rd, 1981. I'm just gonna read you right from my notes. Uh, Cause that was grammatically correct. So A Collection of Great Dance Songs is a compilation album by Pink Floyd. It was released on the Harvest Records label in the UK and on Columbia Records in the United States. For some reason they did separate labels or whatever for different countries, it was, it was kind of odd. The album contains alternate mixes of Shine On You, Crazy Diamond, and Another Brick in the Wall Part Two. The track Money was completely re-recorded and mixed as Capitol Records refused to license the track to Columbia CBS Records. So there was a little bit of tension there too, like. There are many noticeable differences between the two versions of Money, mainly in the saxophone and guitar solos, as well as the use of reverb. David Gilmour re-recorded the track himself along with guitars, keyboards, bass guitar, and vocals. So I guess the guy's like multi-musical or something, you know? The title of the album was an ironic nod to the disco rhythms of Another Brick in the Wall Part 2, as well as Nick Mason's joke inferring that Columbia Records probably thought they were a dance band, which it's talking about Pink Floyd. Album artwork features ballroom dancers anchored to the ground, leaving no opportunity for their movement, which we didn't realize in the video, but it's kind of, or in the review, but it's kind of cool. The inner sleeve of the album has pictures of dancers in either a white or black background, depending on the region it was released. The United Kingdom got white, the United States got black. The album was certified gold on January 20th, 1982. Those guys must have been on some serious drugs. Platinum on July 6th, 1989 and double platinum in August of 2001. What the hell is wrong with people? Who bought this? The album reached number 37 on the United Kingdom charge and number 31 in the United States. A remastered version, why would they remaster this? It's like taking a and polishing it. A remastered version was released on CD by Columbia in 97, 1997, re-released in 2000 on Capitol Records in the United States and EMI and the rest of, for the rest of the globe. For some reason, people like this song. I mean, for, for some reason, people actually like this album, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, that's gonna conclude the history section of the review. Go watch the rest of the review. God damn it, why is my tongue so blah? All right, so now that we've got the history of the album taken care of, let's uh, let's go right into album artwork. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a generic cover. It's, it's kind of bland. I like this, I guess it would be a Polaroid shot. It looks like two stick figures or like two tie downs. You know, like the big car things that like wiggle around. I'm gonna be really honest though. I think like the color scheme is really distracting. Like the white, the font and the color just, it's hard to read and it just, it's just, I don't like it. I'm not a real big fan of it. I don't like this because it's hard to read. It's not recognizable. And then the back here is just, I mean, I like this, I like the squiggle, and I kind of like how this has continued over from the front, but there's not much to say about this packaging. It's really, really bland. The actual album itself, in terms of artwork, I mean, the label's really cool. I like the, the, the colors that they chose for this, and it, the record thickness is, I mean, it's not very thick. It's like a one on the thick scale. It's not thick at all, but the color scheme on the actual record label, I think that's really cool, but, this, this is pretty neat. I actually think this is really cool. I'm glad that this is included in here because it does kind of show a difference. But I do like this insert, I think it's pretty neat. But for overall packaging for this thing, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'd give it like, like a 3.25 out of 10. Like, it's just not there. I just, it's bland. But yeah, let's, uh, let's slide over to songs. Songs in this album for, for side one are one of these days, money and sheep. Side two is shine on you crazy diamond, wish you were here, and another brick in the wall part two. It's a compilation album, folks. For, for their actual like 
focus of the album for a dance album, it's not bad. Like, like the instrumental songs are pretty good. One of these days is pretty good. Money, I actually liked the re-recording. It was kind of a mix up to the original one. It wasn't enough to save the album though. It, there's a reason it's dance music. You go to a dance, you get drunk, you don't remember any of it. John and You Crazy Diamond, I actually thought that one was pretty neat. The instrumentals were pretty good on it. Wish You Were Here was all right. And then another Brick in the Wall part two, it, it was kind of a weird remix. I mean, the songs aren't bad, they're just not great, they're average. It's a weird concept if you think about it. I mean, you do a compilation album, but it's dance theme, I mean, I don't know. I give it like a four, 4.5 out of 10 for songs, and I want to be very clear about this. It is the way that the songs are arranged on this album. Don't look at it as like... Oh, you say another brick in the wall is like, is a, is a bad song, I'm like... No, I, it's not a bad song, it's a good song, I just don't... I, I am not a fan of this concept of doing a compilation album that is dance theme. The remix for Money, I it was pretty good. You know, the songs aren't bad, but it's just, I don't like the concept. So let's talk about longevity. I mean, what longevity? You can get this album on eBay for like 20 bucks sealed. It's, if you're a hardcore Floyd fan, like I can understand why you would collect this, but I, I would probably avoid this album unless you like are trying to relive 70s dance era stuff. And it's just, there's nothing here that screams like, oh, I've got to have this. So, with that said, for longevity, I'd probably give it like a three out of 10. That's pretty much it for this video, you guys. I mean, if you really have to have it, check it out on eBay. This one might be up for sale. You know, if you guys really, really want it or whatever, leave a comment. You know, if I'm feeling generous, I might sell it to you for a reasonable price. But uh, we will see you guys in the next review and uh, ciao.